What's up? I'm Coach Dan Blewett. In today's video, let's talk about the arm action in the softball throw. So if you're looking to improve your softball throwing mechanics, this video we're going to talk about what's going to happen after you separate from your glove and the first early part of the softball throwing motion. All right, so if you're new here, I'm Coach Dan. I'm a former pro baseball pitcher. And in today's video, let's go over the arm action in the softball throw. So this is really important because what happens in the arm action is gonna influence later parts of the throwing motion. So basically what happens is after we scoop a ground ball or we get a fly ball and we're now in this side shuffled position, so I'm in a good position to throw and move towards my target, after this position here, what's gonna happen is we don't want the following things to happen. Number one, we don't want the ball to lift straight up. We don't want our palm to turn up and we don't want our upper arm to lift up. What we wanna have happen is our hands are gonna separate slightly down and then our throwing arm is gonna pull back behind our body. And the reason this is the case is that there's a really important concept in throwing and that is called the scap load and that is when your shoulder blades pull back to the rear part of your body. And when you do this properly, when your body starts to rotate, it keeps your arm sort of hitched up with your upper body. And then we get to use the fast rotation of our upper and lower body to power our arm rather than our arm doing it all itself. So if we lift, we tend to get above our shoulder line and then we tend to push the ball, which is a common mistake that softball players make in their throwing mechanics. And it's one of the major reasons they don't throw as hard as they want to. So when you're teaching this, you wanna think about once we've got here, and we've got our, our fielding position correct, which I'll link in the description below to more softball fielding drills and fielding mechanics. Once we're there, our hands are gonna separate slightly down and then they're gonna pull back, kind of like we're drawing a bow and arrow or as if we're Superman pulling our shirt open. So we're here and then everything is gonna rotate at once after that. So the arm action is an important piece of your overall softball throwing mechanics. And it's one of the more simple things that you can work on when you're just playing catch and getting loose because you can kind of see all the different components in real time as you're playing catch. You can control it to a degree, and there's also a lot of drills you can do working on getting the, hand, uh, getting the hang of going down and pulling back rather than turning the palm up and lifting, which is a common problem I see. All right, thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube. Follow me on social media, on Instagram, TikTok, wherever, and check out my online courses, which you'll find the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.